Right, so the Clodna pedal, Pebble is the uh, second poem in uh, Songs of Experience, and it's a really, it's a, a, a lovely structure, this poem. It's a clever little poem. Um, there's a regular tetrameter throughout. And we can actually break the poem down into two halves, right down the middle here. Um, in this first half, what we have is a little little clod of clay who's uh, giving a, a viewpoint on what love is. And this little clod of clay says, uh, love seeketh not itself to please, nor, f uh, nor for itself hath any care, but for another gives its ease and builds a heaven in hell's despair. And this is, uh, if you think about um, uh, Love seeketh not itself to please, nor for itself hath any care, but for another gives its ease. Uh, what this is, is it's an innocent view. Uh, it's an innocent view of love. The idea that love is all about focusing on your partner, uh, focusing on someone else. It's all about making them happy, not thinking about yourself, but thinking about their happiness. However, we have the pebbles view here. Uh, but a pebble of the brook warbled out these meters meet. So now the pebble is going to give its view of uh, love. Uh, love seeketh only self to please, to bind another to its delight. Joys in another's loss of ease and builds a hell in heaven's despite. So where... Um, uh, the clod is saying okay what we need to do is to build a heaven uh, for your partner um, the pebble is saying actually um, love is for you um, you love to please yourself and this is um, a, a love to please yourself and not your partner and this is this is a really selfish viewpoint okay so uh, love love is for you Okay, and this is this is kind of like the view of experience speaking here. Love, it's for you. It's for kind of um, uh, making sure that you are happy. Um, you know, it's kind of uh, an, an excuse for making you feel better. Um, so it's for the self rather than for someone else. So this is about making your partner happy and that's all you are focused on this is about you being happy and not caring about how your partner feels okay so what we got is kind of two binary opposites of what love represents uh, and it's very odd that he should use the clod and the pebble why use these terms uh, clod for those of you who don't know what a clod is uh, a clod is kind of a lump of clay um, it's a, a lump of mud. Um, it's something that uh, clay. It's moldable. Okay, you can uh, it's you, you can kind of like squish it and, and 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 move it around. Whereas obviously a pebble is something that's small and very hard. So why use these two images to present this? Well, a clod has. There are intimations of it's moldable, but there are intimations of stupidity as well. OK, it, it's kind of like a fairly archaic um, term uh, where you uh, it's like calling someone an idiot. You call them a clod uh, and the clod itself is trodden in the kettle's feet. So there is this idea that um, the clod, you know, above all, it's, it's kind of like soft. It takes the imprint of the cattle's feet uh, so it is it's trodden on okay if you adopt this viewpoint of love uh, what's going to happen is people are going to walk all over you okay um, this is about uh, how uh, yeah you, you are kind of like downtrodden um, so loving for another's sake although it pleases the partner and it brings great joy to the partner for the self it means nothing okay it's it's you are um, in essence you are completely downtrodden you are subservient uh, to everyone else's feelings subservient is a really nice word to use there uh, the pebble itself the pebbles really hard 
uh, it's resistant, it's unchanging. Uh, so therefore what it becomes symbolic of the soul that cannot change or adapt. Okay, it's hard, uh, unbreakable. Um, and we have to remember that both of these, they are symbols. They're both symb symbolic. Uh, it's fixed. Unchanging. Uh, so it's, it's kind of like a fitting emblem uh, for the soul that refuses to accept anyone else's view. I think it's really interesting as well in uh, the pebble. The pebble uh, focuses on that metaphor of binding, um, that, that kind of restriction of freedom. Okay, so, so not allowing your partner to have freedom, so restricting freedom. Um, and that, that kind of like links similarly to that idea of the jealous God of the fallen world uh, that wants to bind things down, bind people down. Um, and uh, what he wants to do is to kind of limit our imagination. So uh, kind of like subjugate us, keep us subservient, uh, similar to how we saw in the Garden of Love. So what we got is these two binary opposites of what of, of what love represents. Uh, we have the viewpoint where you are subservient. We have the viewpoint where you are the dominant force. Uh, and they're binary opposites of the concept of love. They're extreme views. Uh, some critics have said that actually um, because this one comes first, this is uh, perhaps the most important. Uh, however, the issue is, is that the, uh, the innocent uh, love it's not perfect because you are always going to be subservient and of course the experience love is not perfect um, because uh, because you are always going to be dominant dominant there's no uh, there's no equality within these relationships they're extreme relationships now there is a critic called Paul O O Flynn Paul O Flynn okay and Paul O Flynn said um, that he thought when he when he first read this he he struggled why wasn't there a fourth stanza a stanza where Blake actually steps forward and presents his own personal solution because uh, this is supposed to be a, don't forget this is supposed to be a lyric it's a song um, so telling us who is right who is is it correct is it the clod or the pebble um, or is Blake going to present his own uh, kind of like superior alternative to these awful constantly difficult concepts but we are kind of left in the air and he said the answer to the question is he said is that he thinks that there is a tension here that cannot be resolved the contrary is a total it is precisely a poem about unresolved tension the clods experience and belief lead it to define love in self-denying terms the pebbles lead it to deny love in selfish terms so depending on who's doing the talking and where the speaker is speaking from love means diametrically opposites things and that is what this lyric is about what's the big picture really well i think really what uh, blake is trying to point out is that uh, this is the love of experience this is a love of innocence and neither of them really work uh, what he's he's trying to show is that when we view things as as binary opposites when we view things as extremes um they don't work and we need a sense of balance uh, in life for things to work. We need aspects from this, and we need aspects from this to have the perfect relationship and the two can't work together. Uh, now, because this is at the beginning of Songs of Experience, uh, this is, uh, we, we've learned about, uh, through reading Innocence, we've learned about how innocence is open to exploitation. Well, really what he's doing is foreshadowing uh, here how uh, the world of experience is also a very dangerous one.